There was a time back in the 1950s when Auburn Avenue was nicknamed the richest Negro street in the world, a place where black Atlantans came to live, work and play. Well, today the area is a national historic park, but part of it are far from thriving. There is a movement, though, to change that, as I learned last week while touring the neighborhood. It's a struggle right now. Chris Lee is a property manager at 250 Auburn Ave. The historic Odd Fellows building, once a bustling gathering spot, now a nearly empty office building. It's a struggle getting things that need to be fixed and done back over again. It's such an eyesore when you come down historic Auburn Avenue and you see stuff that needs to be fixed. Walk along parts of Auburn Avenue today and sadly, there are too many eyesores. Historic, once beautiful structures, now dilapidated and vacant. Then President Trump signed a bill making Atlanta's Sweet Auburn District a National Historic Park back in 2018. I mean, a building that has that much significance, I feel like it should be in better shape. Yeah, I mean, so this thing, I get it. David Mitchell is executive director of the Atlanta Preservation Center. My role is to, is to steward these properties and do everything I can to protect them. Mitchell is passionate about Atlanta and passionate about preserving its history. A complicated task when you consider the sheer number of stakeholders at play. We want so much for this to mean so many different things. You have a government level, you have a state level, you have a regional level, you have a national level, and then you have the local. Just five different things coming into space, trying to make it work for them in their way. There's 229 Auburn, the old Atlanta State Savings Bank. Gate City Drugs on the corner of Auburn and Jesse Hill Jr. Drive. The Butler Street YMCA, once called Atlanta's Black City Hall. And then, of course, the King Buildings, his birth house. Ebenezer Baptist Church, the King Center. History is everywhere on Auburn Avenue. Now it's a matter of embracing the past while planning for the future. Mitchell is optimistic. I believe the sun is in our face and not on our backs in this conversation. The future is looking very good. Just because it's complicated now doesn't mean it's complicated forever. Rick Fulbaum, Atlanta News First. And there are plans to build new affordable housing units on Auburn Avenue, along with new commercial and retail spaces as well. And the hope is that a lot of progress will be made between now and the summer of 2024, when Atlanta hopes to host the Democratic National Convention. And we have all of our Black History Month stories online and also on the Atlanta News First app. We also have a special podcast that you really should listen to. It's great. ATL Vault. The newest episodes go in even more in depth in how important the Sweet Auburn District was during the Civil Rights Movement. More